What's up guys, it's Abandoned Explorations here and today we are on our way to Gainford to check out the St Peter's Orphanage building. Now we have heard that there was a de it was de demolished due to a massive fire last year. So we're actually on our way down now to see what's the remains of the building and we're going to also whilst we're there we'll talk about the history and show you some really scary stuff in the gym. So basically we're just coming into Gainford now and what we're going to do is we're going to pull up at the side, we're going to get out and we're just going to have a look around and we'll see what we can do if you know what I mean. So right we're here at St Peter's just to let you know we were literally just coming down the A67 when we just pulled up and this is what's here. So in front of us where I'm pointing right now is the gym. Onto our right is the reception building. That's the reception building and this here where there's just loads of rubble was where the ex dormitory building such is called has was demolished. This was the building that had the massive fire. So basically we're now we're gonna get out, we're gonna have a walk around the site and we're gonna see what we can find in there. So here we go. I do apologize for the noise. There's a massive power generator there, don't know what that is. For, uh, basically, if you follow me, under the barrier, right? This road here, I've looked online, and this is actually a public road. It doesn't actually go down to St Peter's just itself. This actually goes down to some allotments, which we don't know because we, we've never been here before. So basically, what we're doing, uh, there's the back of the reception building. This was like the courtyard now. I'm looking at some of the pictures on Facebook, there's a bloke called Carl Scare, which we've been talking to him, and he was a pupil here at St Peter's in the late 80s, well early 80s, sorry, and he posted a lot of pictures of when it was a school, and looking back, because there used to be a, a corridor there, and where that black window board is, there was a glass corridor that went down here, and about here, in this bit of the courtyard there, there was two there was a picture of two teachers, Mr. Darby and Mr. Byrne, and they are supposedly the two perpetrators that caused the horrific sexual and physical abuse to some of the lads here at St. Peter's when it was a school. Hence why we found some information of the graffiti written in the gym walls, which we are about to show you. So, be prepared for this. Now talking into the history, St. Peter's was built by the Roman Catholic Church in 1899 initially as an orphanage it used to house children from the age of 2 to 10 on the date of admission so basically that means the day they joined St Peter's whatever age from 2 to 10 is what they accepted it had to be Roman Catholic as well then in 1937 in, 19... in 1937 it became it was still an orphanage but it became for Spanish children who were fl fleeing the Civil War in 1937. Then, that was it. <laughs> Sorry about that guys, it was, we just didn't know what that noise was, we were a little bit, uh, what was that? Sorry at the moment. Um, now as I say, we're coming around here. I was looking up on the line and if you guys can see, you can still see some concrete floor and some tiles over there from where there actually was a floor. Looked up online and this was a dormitory building and apparently on in 1971, we don't know what day or month, whatever, Mr. Byrne, the headmaster who we just mentioned, came into this building that was here and he was caught sexually abusing one of the lads and in retaliation six other lads beat him up and when that happened he was silently left St Peter's and just went and just went on to Kirk Leverton where he just continued his horrific abuse so that's all we know about him uh, Mr Darby however was another perpetrator now if we come round the side here I think there's some new graffiti uh, yeah, this graffiti we haven't seen online. Uh, two pair, it says. I don't know why people. Yeah, I've, I've seen a picture of it round here, and that, that was never there. Yeah. Um, basically, yeah, this is the exterior of the gym. As you see, 
it's all been bricked up you cannot get into the gym there used to be a door here and a picture we looked at it was a blue door and it said enter can you remember that mm -hmm. Pete yeah yep I've seen pictures of the inside of the gym but this is where we have to work out how to get in yeah I was just saying at this moment in time there is no entry when we walk down you might think oh that's an entry it's not it's got a board up behind it just go and have a look so we'll show you what they mean uh, we've got to be careful because there's a lot of nettles and shit yeah. There's a horse pipe. Horse pipe. There's a lot of bunch of junk from the dormitory building when they did the demolition. There's just loads of mattresses and crack just dumped. Obviously it has to be recycled. Uh, as you can see, we're now on the thing. And yeah, there's no entry. You can only go in that little bit there of the corridor, as you can see. Oh, this is basically it. You know, we technically are inside the building, if you know what I mean, but we're not. It's, I can still smell it though, I can still smell that old, abandoned, like, rotten, damp smell. There's even like wallpaper and stuff still on here, so that hasn't, you know, come off. Then, there was a picture online, and basically behind here was just a massive corridor, and behind this board is all like school chairs and weird stuff that's just really creepy. Obviously the caretaker has been and put the board up to stop people going in because this is open from the demolition because there used to be the dormitory building right there. So Atta Attached to this building. Yeah, and as I say there's still the carpet here, some of the carpet from the uh, dormitory building that has been dumped. So, so basically guys, if you follow me again, um, obviously I was just to show you that that was not our point of entry. Um, if we come down here, we're going to go around the side of the gym. And we're going to see if there's anything around that side. So, if you guys like to follow me, just as I say, we have to be really careful here because there's loads of nettles and stuff. You don't know what could happen, you know, like that. Yeah, nearly tripped over. And also, as well, it's not really a good day. It's quite damp and it's warm, but it's quite humid. So, here we go again. This was uh, where they must have played basketball and stuff. This was the school playing yard. I looked at a picture online as well of this when the kids were here because that house was in the background. And uh, more stairs around here. Uh, oh, I said, I think I see an entry point. Oh, bingo, point of entry, straight in front of us, guys. So it's like to the side. There's some more boards up. Oh, there we go. Oh, there's another one there. There's two points of entries. Well, that one's obviously a bit high. Yeah. Sorry about the road to be. Jake? Whoa. I think I see another one. Whoa. That's what? Scary shit in there. Scary. Oh no, concrete door. Yep, just like the last one. Guys, you need to look at some of the shit in there. This is the stuff I was talking to you about. Right, look. Look right in. What do you see? It says 40 years of being head We're fucked. Going We're going in if we can. Uh, as I say, this window is open as we can see. We should be able to fit through here. As I say, people have already been, as you can tell, they tried to make an entry. So we're going to try and attempt to get in. Bear with me. That is heavy. It's also very wonky. As you can see, we are not like breaking and entering. There's just a physical opening of the window. Right? right. right I'll follow you in. Jake. Do you want to hold that? So if you, if you follow what I said there, guys, look, 1962 to 63, Mr. Byrne 
headmaster, dirty, sadistic bastard. Peter, Darby, pervert, you fucked our heads up. So that's 1962 to 63. So obviously some horrific abuse happened here. Uh, as we sit there, the 40 years of being head fucked. Uh, on this wall here, it says, vicious series. That must be referring to one of the teachers. Jack Stoltz, you should be home. That must have been again someone who was a perpetrator. Uh, as you can see, the gym still has some of its original features. And basically, here's another thing that might freak you out, guys. What we are standing in right now, it may be rumours, it may be true, but there are rumours that there are tunnels and rooms under this gym. And in those tunnels and in one of the rooms or some somewhere, there are supposed to be two dead kids. The reason why is because on the side of the dormitory building, there was some graffiti that said 29 dead, two buried. The two buried linked to the two that's under this gym. That's really fucking scary. It and there's holes there where people have tried to dig them up or dig something up at this place. It's just, it is really bad. But as I say at the moment, the gym still has its original features like the basketball hoop, the climbing wall, ro ropes, still has the even the lights. They're still up on the roof at the moment. Yeah. And there's pictures of, I'll actually post it on now, pictures of the gym in use when it was an orphanage of all the boys in. Yeah, it even looked really nicely done. The floor looked decent as well. They're all like these, they're like the climbing stuff that they would have used. Trust me, this place is... Um, yeah, this place used to the last was used as a nursing home. Thank you guys, there's one last bit of graffiti that I haven't shown yet. And I will have to, uh, excuse me for the flash, but... Uh, yeah. It's that, yes. But there's one more teacher written down. Okay. Oh, there's a lot of water dripping down here. Is there? Yeah, but it's only water. Guys, keep your uh, eyes open. The last bit here, you might not see it, but on that wall there, it says Mr. For Mr. Fitzmaurice is a nonce. He must have been one of the teachers. Wow, that, that is fluid. I don't know, I can't see. We can't get close. Mr. Mr. Fitzmaurice is a nonce, it says. If you guys can't see it, I do apologise, but we'll, we'll uh, post a picture to back that up. And obviously this is just graffiti that random people have posted. Yes. So yeah guys, that's it. So that was the brief history and to it of the gym, which is by far the most sad, horrific and scary. I've just part seen I've just seen a light flash over there. Yeah, I'm getting quite freaked out to be honest. Mm. What was We're gonna get out. Wait, I'll, what we'll do is we'll go out and we'll walk around the, the reception, building. reception the garden of the reception building. So Peter's now going to attempt to get out. In this small, tiny little window. window. Oh, I just got out the most difficult way. Way for me because I'm taller. We'll walk this way around. Alright, guys, so that's, that's the exterior that of the gym where we've just been. There is two companies that we don't know yet, but we could own St. Peter's, and it is uh, Kebble Hopes, which there's a sign up there, or the other one, which is Russell Plant. Russell Plant. Now, walking back towards the uh, the house looking building which is the reception building as we've there's also as we house over there which we think might be the caretaker's house 
Yeah, the, on the pictures online, that, that little house there that you can see next to the reception building was actually the caretaker's house. Yeah. And he's called Father Vincent Duffy. And basically, yeah, that's where he lived. He was also another one of the victim, well, not victim, but perpetrator, but he wasn't like one of the serious bad ones. He was just a little bit dodgy. Like he would used to like play with your ass or something. And here we are at the exterior of the reception building. As you can see, it's a, personally, I would say if it was done up, it would be a really beautiful Victorian mansion, if you think about it. But as you can see, it is a Victorian house. It's red brick. It's got the old fashioned window frames. Some of them have lost the wooden poles where it's probably fallen apart or people have gone in and vandalized it. Um, we were hoping to get in the reception building, but it looks like a caretaker or someone has been around and put the boards up. Because they look like fresh boards when you look at the colour, where they've uh, deteriorated, where they've just rotted, excuse that. And there's another board around the main door from where they uh, demolished the other building. I wouldn't mind finding the bell. The what? The bell from the bell tower. Oh, right. Yeah, the bell tower's there. Yeah, that's the bell thing, yeah. Whoa, there's, I didn't notice that. There's a little hole in the bricks. Where? Where the bell tower is, there's a little hole in the wall. Oh yeah, so there is. I don't know if you can uh, see it. It says, danger, unsafe stairs and floors keep out. So obviously the caretaker or whoever's done this has put that up to basically alert us that inside the floors are literally you could fall through them because it's been abandoned for that long. So we'll have a quick look around here. As you can see, as you can just see, that must have been a fire escape plan. It looks all rusted. You know, it looks like it's been there for a, a, a long, long time. Oh, hey, smashed window. Not boarded up. Look at that, guys. As you can see, you can just see like a lampshade pendant thing hanging down there. Uh, this would have been another part of the back garden, sorry. Uh, and you can see the discoloration between the two sides there. You like to connect the up. Yeah. Yeah. This is where different. this is where that corridor was because yeah. if you can see here, look, there's more tiles and stuff. Like here. Like tiles. That's still off the floor, so that went here. So this is probably where it's been. Left down. Yeah. Alright guys, so as you can see, we've been around the back of it now. We're coming back towards the, the back. This is the side of the house, but we're going towards like the back of the... Like this would be the back garden. Courtyard, whatever they called it, back in the day. But obviously with it being a nursing home. And with, also a flat. In I, 2001 it was flat. For how long? A year, because uh, the landlord named Jonathan Price somehow illegally managed to use this building and then the council found out that he was using it and because he didn't sign the form to like fully say right, I own it, they got really pissed off and they basically was like saying right everyone needs to be out by a certain day, if you're not out you have to pay a thousand pound every day, fine. For, for living in the building, and that's why they have to move out. So basically, like a thousand pound a day of rent. Because yeah. They weren't supposed to be because there. they weren't supposed to be there. Yeah, because they were technically squatting, if you know what I mean. Because he hadn't legally said that they could move into the building. How he managed to do it, I do not know. But back in them days, this place it was like that. And that looks like it has been a point of entry. It looks like someone's trying to get in, but. It's been piled up and stuff. As you can see. So, yeah. Yes. Um, so when you're around, this is basically it. Oh well, there's no roof on. There's no roof. Oh wow, can you see? And as you can see, yeah, that's definitely been piled up in there like that. Yeah, he's piled up a lot. I wonder how he's piled it up and got out. For the roof, probably. Yeah.
right. And that's where we park. So that is the hold of the pan. Should we just show them around the front? Yeah, we'll have a look around the front. the reception building guys as you can see that, this is the main road so it's basically right on the main road yeah it does have that even look about it doesn't it yeah so that's it also as well guys i'd like to point out that this part of the building here, that ground floor room, not the one with the brown board, but the one like... So basically what you can see now. Basically what we can see where that little like white patch is, if you can see, on the, on that side of the wall. Behind that was Mr. Burns' office. And that was the room where he invited the kids and he would sit them in the chair and basically sexually assault them, abuse them. That room right there, that room right in front of us, ground floor. That was where all that horrible actions took place. Right there. Right in front of us. So I hope you guys... And even so, there's still part of the corridor. Where the brick wall is there. This used to be like a 